It is that time of year. Even looking at this right now, I get all you get tingly in yeah. here. Mm -hmm. Boston Marathon returns, as do the Red Sox at Fenway, <laughs> but it also means so does allergies. I know. I think a lot of us are feeling it. If you think maybe your allergies are worse this year, it's not in your head. Climate change is a big reason, and most likely this will be the new norm. Our NBC 10's Darren Patello is taking a closer look. I would say so far we're setting up for the worst year that I've seen. Dr. Jonathan Bayek with Allergy and Immunology Associates of New England estimates seeing about a 30% increase in patients suffering from allergy symptoms this year compared to the same time last year. Now we're only in April and we're already having people that are coming in for you know, sort of emergency rescue medications. Dr. Bayek says first there's the hygiene hypothesis, which basically means we're exposed to less germs. And the other reason we may be seeing more allergy sufferers and you may be experiencing symptoms earlier in the season is the warm weather because of climate change. Mostly because of the temperature. And we've also had a lot of water in New England last year. So that really sets the trees up to, to pop. And now we have 60, 70 degree days. That really generates a lot of pollen. Over-the-counter medications are a short-term option, but Dr. Bayek would prescribe allergy shots if you're looking for a long-term solution. Over several months, you can become desensitized uh, for the vast majority of people who go through it. You may also get more bang for your buck with allergy shots because health experts say most insurance plans cover them. Darren Batella reporting for NBC10 Boston.